For this exercise, you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Both will work, but notice the difference. When I come down to pick up the kettlebell, I'm going down this low versus when I come to pick up the dumbbell, I have to go lower. So if you have an option to choose, then just consider that. If you don't, obviously pick up what you have. And if picking up either of these from the floor is too low for you, then you can use an elevated surface that you would stand either foot on the outside of, like a narrow bench. I'll show you that somewhere here where you're picking the weight up from an elevated surface. Now for the setup, I'll show you with the dumbbell and with the kettlebell. We wanna position the weight so that where we are picking it up is aligning with the middle of our feet and our feet are about hip width apart or a little bit wider. So from here, we'll go into a hip hinge, drive your hips back, keeping your back flat. As you feel that stretch through your hamstrings, then begin to bend your knees to come down the rest of the way. Your other arm can be out to the side. Take hold of the weight. Make sure that you're not rotating this way. We wanna keep our shoulders squared as much as possible. And from here, keeping our back nice and flat, screw your feet into the floor to come up to a standing plank position, glute squeezed, core engaged. Lower down, again, driving your hips back, then bending the knees to go all the way down. Put the weight on the floor, stand up, switch sides, lower down, take hold with your other hand, drive it up, lower down, and we'll continue like that, alternating sides. From the side with the kettlebell, inhale, lower down, Exhale, stand up to that standing plank. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, stand. Repeat, other hand. 